Hey YouTube, love and light, the Empress is in the building and welcome to the Empire. I want to thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I'm going to be doing an energy check-in for the sign of Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you're not an Aquarius and you're watching this video, there is a message here for you. Everyone is welcome here. This is a collective read, so it may not resonate for everyone. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs it. If this does resonate for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe to join our spiritual tribe and to help the channel grow. I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy off the space, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So how y'all doing, Aquarius? I hope all is well. All is well in the Empire. Thank y'all so much for y'all love and support and staying with me. I have had a lot going on, so I've been manifesting some of my um some things in my own life so i appreciate y'all so much for staying so holy spirit angels ancestors and guides i ask that you protect me as i go into the white light of the tarot give me clear and honest messages for my aquarians today anything that is of you light and love anything that is not of you i ask that you return to sender tenfold i ask that you protect my aquarians as they receive these messages thank you spirit amen 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 let's see what's going on hey y'all hey y'all hey y'all hey 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 what's going on aquarius what y'all got going on this week let's see what it do let's see what it do y'all let's see what it do what is going on with my aquarius this week let's see let's see hmm the right way learning to create what you desire hmm learning new things learning how to manifest so i feel like um oh y'all gonna get a message uh-huh so i feel like y'all um uh, learning to tap into your creativity um uh, learning how to keep yourself in alignment yeah following your um heart Standing in your power, standing in your truth, 21 on the card. Yeah, let's see. In that magician energy, having the willpower, birthing new ideas. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we have falling four on the card, the unknown, descent, momentum, change. Oh, I feel like y'all ready to embrace some change. <clears throat> Stepping into the unknown uh-huh your energy is um gaining momentum so some of y'all might have um feel like y'all are descending or have uh been in this lack mentality um falling behind or not being able to manifest but your energy is going to gain momentum um you got to uh embrace this change um don't be afraid to step into the unknown so I feel like you are going to get out of this lack mindset. Um, know that you are on the right path. It says clock time. Time, pressure, in a rush. Don't be in a rush. Be patient with yourself. This is your time. I feel like some of y'all feel pressured to move um, swiftly or being very impulsive. Um, 14 on the car reduces to five. Um, yeah, change is coming, you know, and your energy is gaining momentum, but be, just be patient with yourself. You are going to restore balance back into your life. And it says messages for a rabbit service to the animal world. Hmm. Some of y'all could be um, attract animals or have pets, but I feel like you are getting messages or could be receiving a message from someone or could be receiving messages or downloads from the universe. Uh, some of y'all could be needing to get grounded. Like I said, getting in alignment. 15 on the card, reduced to six. Could be significant. Restoring balance. Believe. Strange encounters. 31 on the card. Reduced to four. So some of y'all could be having strange encounters with the uh, with animals. Because it's a unicorn on this card. Or you could have strange encounters with different people. So you could be collaborating with different people that's going to help you manifest. Um, be mindful of the type of energies that you are allowing in your circle. So... Um, 
you could have some strange encounters that be could be like synchronicities so pay attention to the synchronicities and things like that. Um, we have two crowns. So I feel like some of y'all crown chakra could be blocked or your crown chakras could be open. So pay attention <clears throat> to the messages that you're receiving. So you could be getting downloads in your dreams. And like I said, you could just be getting synchronicities. Pay attention to the synchronicities that are surrounding you or that you um, encounter. So some of y'all could be encountering people in the store or um, in the in the mall or um, just at restaurants or just places that you frequent. Um, and it could be like um, deja vu to you. Um, these could be like earth angels that you're encountering or, you know, uh, divine beings that you're encountering that are sent to help you elevate. And it says 35 never jam today promises that never come to be empty words not living in the now so um 35 on the card reduces to eight uh, just know that your possibilities are limitless um you could be around somebody who are you know um could have been giving you empty promises not living up to uh, what they say or you could be feeling like you're not living up to your own expectations speaking negative things in your life which is keeping you from manifesting so it's time for you to live in the now leave the past behind um leave past hurts traumas uh self-doubt uh, negative thinking it's time to leave that in the in the past um don't miss the opportunities that are standing right in front of you okay Let's see what's going on. What's going on, Aquarius? Let's see. Let's see what we can't get out of this deck. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I feel like you're going to have some new doors open for you. But I definitely feel like it's your harvest season. And everything is going to happen in divine timing. So maybe things are not coming into fruition for you um, as fast as you feel like they should. But I feel like um, some of y'all could just have some self-doubt, you know. Maybe not confident in yourself. So it's time to stand in your power. Embrace these chains. Master yourself. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, party. Okay, some of y'all could be um, partying too much, overindulging in um, social gatherings, celebrating, over-celebrating, but... I do feel like some of y'all are going to be celebrating yourself. Um, I feel like you might be meet someone at a social event. Um, some of y'all need to possibly get out more so you can meet new people, like strange encounters. Like I said, you might encounter somebody that might help you elevate your business or put you in a position to um, uh, change careers. You might need a new soulmate, but I feel like some of y'all could be um, actually just overindulging and partying because you can see this person is um, smoking, weed, drinking. Hmm. Also, we have reconciliation here. Um, I feel like some of y'all could be in separation with someone. Or somebody could be um, from your past could be returning. Somebody that was non-committal could be falling in love with you, or have could fallen could have fell in love with you. Somebody is missing you, so I feel like some of y'all might be getting a message from someone. Somebody might be feeling like you're very cuddly, like a little rabbit, like soft and cuddly. Somebody might feel like you're pure because um, it's a white rabbit here. 
Um, but also, that could be a message for you not to go down the rabbit hole. Hmm. Some of y'all could be um, going to school to be a veterinarian. Hmm. Some of y'all could work at like a, what do you call those things? A rescue. So some of y'all could meet someone at the vet. Like taking your animal, like if you had to take your animal in for um, service, you might meet someone there. Um, regret. Somebody is definitely feeling some gr regret, guilt um, about how they treated you. And this person could be overindulging in partying and drinking because this person is like passed out in a like a hotel room. So somebody could have been overindulging in third parties. Um, someone could re regret, somebody could have chose somebody over you and regret they may be made a wrong choice. Somebody is seeking um, forgiveness from you. Somebody wants to come in and apologize. So some of you are going to get a message of, it, of, of um, a message to apologize to you, a message of forgiveness or for forgiveness. Yeah, but I feel like somebody is definitely missing you for some of you that could be in separation from someone. Yeah, so text message, communication, news, phone call, direct message. So somebody is going to get a text message from someone. Um, it could be somebody in your DM. Um, someone. Hmm. Somebody, somebody could like you, though. Somebody that, um, this could be somebody new. Somebody could be getting um, news about a new job. So, if you're trying to manifest something, like a project or a new job or uh, a new business endeavor, somebody could be messaging you about that. Yeah, because the right way, learning to create what you desire is here. So you could be manifesting something career-wise or business-wise. Yeah. Um, some of y'all are going through a spiritual awakening. So like I said, some of y'all could just be receiving downloads from the universe or from the divine, from your spirit team. Um, but I feel like some of y'all been light enlightened about something or someone could been could have been enlightened about you. Somebody is having an epiphany about something. I feel like somebody's learned a lot of life lessons and I feel like some um, some of you are just growing spiritually. Um, I feel like somebody's going through a major transformation or a rebirth. Let's see. Yeah, so I feel like some of y'all are definitely working on getting grounded. This person is on the beach in the sand with their hands up. So I feel like some of y'all have been praying about something, trying to manifest, asking asking the, the universe or the divine about um, bringing in something for you. And I feel like you're definitely healing through something. So I feel like some of y'all have gone into um, isolation and um, have done some soul searching. Some of y'all could be um, spiritualists. Uh, but I definitely feel like um, you're making some progress here. Healing some old wounds. Improving yourself. Some of y'all could be mending old relationships. Some of y'all could be recovering from like um, addictions. Hmm. But I do see travel here. Some of y'all could be traveling. Some of y'all could be um, relocating for a new job or a new business. Some of y'all could just be traveling for pleasure. So some of y'all could be meeting someone as you travel. Um, but I do also feel like 
someone, some of y'all could be um, in separation from someone you are um, living a distance from or someone you are separated with could travel for work. But I definitely feel like some of y'all might need a uh, like a mini getaway to do some healing or to just, you know, um, focus on some self-care. But if you're in separation from someone, I feel like you just need to set some boundaries with this person. Some of y'all could live next to some water. Um, like in a tropical state or a tro tropical country, somewhere where it's warm. Let's see. But I feel like somebody is definitely want to uh, mend, mend a connection with you. But I feel like somebody is crystal clear about um, where um, they stand with you or um, how they feel about you. Because like I said, this could have been somebody who was very non-committal. And I feel like somebody's been awakened to this connection. Hmm. So I feel like somebody is going to try to intentionally run into you from your past. I feel like somebody's really drowning themselves in their sorrows. I feel like somebody is using vices to... Um, to forget about you or to to get away from the uh, pain or sorrow they're feeling about the breakup for some of you that's in separation or to block these fond memories they're having or to block this um, stress and anxiety that they're feeling some of y'all could be overindulgent as well to, to block out the stress of everyday life. So like I said, some of y'all might need to go on a vacation because I have the 10 of coins here. I do see you manifesting. This is, like I said, this is your harvest season. Um, so in divine timing, everything is going to fall in place for you. So I feel like this is just a time for you to be patient with yourself. Um, I do feel like you are going to be um, calling in abundance. Um, if you're having some financial difficulties, um, don't stress about it. Um, you do have your angels and ancestors working behind the scenes to help you get stable again. So I feel like you need to release self-doubt, fear, anxiety, um, you know, think positive and be optimistic about your future because whatever is coming towards you is going to bring you uh, financial security and stability. Some of you, like I said, could be calling in a ten of pinnacle situation. Some of y'all could be concerned or maybe have uh, about a ten of pinnacle situation. Some of y'all could have um, be in separation from someone like a family. But I see some of y'all going to be uh, inheriting like generational wealth. So some of y'all could be receiving a message regarding an inheritance. So I feel like some of y'all just feel like y'all under a lot of pressure about something. Somebody could be pressuring you to get back into a relationship. So some of y'all could be getting a lot of messages from someone. And feeling pressure to go back. Um, somebody could, this person could be just making empty promises and um, preying on your emotions. Um, and I feel like these are just empty words just to get back into your energy.
Ten of Cups. Look. Ooh, Aquarius. Y'all about to call in. Uh, financial and emotional fulfillment. Or for some of you, y'all might be in a Ten of Coins situation and not emotionally fulfilled. So everybody's situation is different. This is a um, collective read. So put yourself where you, you know, take it how it resonates. Put yourself where you belong. But I feel like y'all have some good things. So I feel like you, for you to call this in, you're going to have to leave something behind. Because 10, um, 10 and 10 is 20, reduces to 10, and 10 reduces to 1. So, endings bring new beginnings. So, I feel like your possibilities are limitless, but I feel like you have to learn how to manifest. You have to get in that magician energy. Have the willpower to walk away from things that's no longer serving you so you can call in the blessings the universe has to um, give you. But I feel like um, you are getting nudges and messages from the universe, but you have to believe that you can have them and that you are worthy and deserving of those things. Don't be afraid to step into the unknown because the universe has these blessings for you. Uh, some of y'all are going to be calling in some new, new love. And this is going to... Um, you know, uh, be something that's solid and stable that's going to give you financial security and emotional fulfillment. But I feel like some of y'all could be in your head um, and not believing in yourself, not having the confidence to move forward, embrace this change. So some of y'all could just be stuck in the past, but the universe is saying, hey, be willing to go through this rebirth, you know, close out some old chapters because you're about to get a second chance at life. Mm-hmm. You're going to be celebrating yourself. Mm-hmm. Six of cups. Yeah. So I feel like somebody, um, yeah, some of y'all need to let go of the past, but I definitely feel like, um, somebody from your past is, uh, having some, Find memories of you. Somebody from your past is missing you. And this could be, for some of you, somebody you had a family with. And I feel like some of y'all walked away from this situation because you were not emotionally fulfilled. Hmm. And this is somebody you could have um, been with for a long time. But whoever this person is, they are really missing you. Like I said, but I feel like this person could potentially, for some of you be just um you know full of full of shit <laughs> to be honest with you making empty promises you know not living up to the expectation and i feel like that's possibly the reason why you left in the first place look the moon so the universe is calling you to use your intuition in this situation cuz this person could just be creating illusions okay um hmm also, like I said, some of y'all just need to be following y'all dreams and be manifesting y'all ass off, okay? Because I feel like y'all going to encounter somebody that's going to help make all y'all dreams come true. And, and pay attention to your dreams, too. Because I feel like the universe is uh, trying to uh, send you some messages through your dreams and don't be afraid to step into the unknown because um if you stay stuck in the past um and not pay attention to the synchronicities and the signs that the universe is trying to give you you might miss the opportunity okay all right ace of coins see what i'm saying ace of coins that the universe got a divine gift for you the world is in your hands if you want it you're gonna have new op financial opportunities coming you're about to be very prosperous. You're about to manifest money, financial wealth, stability. Um, like I said, some of y'all going to be getting new jobs. Some of y'all going to get um, new financial opportunities are going to open for you. Uh, new doors are going to open for you. That's going to make you very prosperous. But you have to believe in yourself. You have to learn how to manifest that. You know, keep your heart chakra open. Um be thankful for the lessons that you are learning. Be grateful for the things you have. Um, 
remove any self-doubt that you have. Um, be confident in yourself. Have some strength and courage and be brave and keep moving forward. Um, get out of this lack mentality. Um, focus on self-care and love. Speak positive things over your life. Whatever it is you want, speak it into existence. You know, if you want a new car, ask for the new car. Speak, Say, I am going to get a new car. And, and set a time frame as to when you're going to get it. If you want money, ask for the amount of money you uh, want and and set goals as to when you're going to achieve it. If you want to start a new business, say, I'm going to have my new business by so-and-so date and start making a plan to bring it into fruition. So whatever it is you want, go ahead and start putting those things out into the universe so you can attract them. It's about the law of attraction, uh, law of attraction, right? Okay, I like it. I like this energy, Aquarius. Y'all about to get do the damn thing. Y'all, oh, y'all not y'all didn't come to play today. Okay, huh? And y'all also need to make sure y'all setting healthy boundaries. Oh, look, the high priestess. Okay, mm-hmm. Yeah, some of y'all, like I said, are spiritualists. Um, some of y'all in this high secret energy and y'all have sacred knowledge. Y'all have sacred knowledge of the past, present, and future. So some of y'all could be starting online businesses. Some of y'all could, um, be starting, um, businesses in the, um, in the spiritual, um, what is it called? Um, uh, y'all have, uh, esoteric knowledge. So y'all could be starting spiritual businesses. Some of y'all could be light workers, healers, um, star seeds. Um, so I feel like some of y'all could have already have an online presence. So I feel like you just need to tap into your spiritual spirituality. You know, yeah. Listen to your inner voice. Listen to your um intuition. Hmm. Yeah, but also I feel like someone is keeping some secrets because we have the moon and the high priestess out here, but you are very powerful. You're a powerful manifester and you have divine knowledge of the past, present, and future. Whatever it is you are thinking, you can achieve it. Uh, whatever it is you you uh, trust, trust what you feel and know is what it is. That's that intuition nudging you that's that holy spirit coming to you speaking to you Mhm. Mm yes okay yeah yeah so i feel like some of y'all are very spiritually tapped in some of y'all could have um some some blocks right now because y'all um you know have this lack mentality or um, have this self doubt, but you have to be confident and, and believe in yourself. Look, nine of damn coins come on through Aquarius. Come on through y'all nine of coins. So right now is the time for you to plant some good seeds or y'all have been planting some good seeds. And that's why the universe is about to bless you with this abundance, right? And also, the high priest is about things yet to be seen. So maybe you don't see the big picture as of yet, but it's coming. It's show sure coming. It might be slow coming, but it's show sure coming. And this energy is gaining momentum, okay? Yeah, you're going to be thriving, you know? Make sure, like I said, y'all not overindulging and spending, shopping, partying, hanging out, doing all that stuff. Uh, make sure you're being conservative at this time too. Saving your money, putting a plan together to bring in what it is you're trying to manifest. Set some goals for yourself and bring it into fruition, right? Because I see you very resourceful. Yeah, and you're going to reap the fruits of your harvest. Okay, come on through. Come on through. I like this energy. I like this. I like this. I like this. Let me get my ass on out of here. Look, I done came. I done went. I ain't going to drop too many of these cards because I like this. Look, okay, so also you have to be uh, able to resist temptation. So that's all about, like I said, not overspending. 
not being in your pride and ego, letting go of this self-doubt, not falling into these manipulation tactics for people that's in your energy. Be careful of who you allow into your energy, um, getting out of this bondage from this devil energy here. Some of y'all could have, let's see, we got the moon, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Piscarian energy is here. Um, the high priestess, we have Cancerian energy here. Uh, we have um, the devil card, um, that's Capricorn energy. Um, we have the ten of cups, that's um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, the cups, the ten of cups, six of cups. And we also have um, the pentacles here, so um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, also, we have the nine of cups. The nine of cups, your wishes are about to be filled, so make sure you are not getting stuck, you know, uh, like you don't you, you don't fall for this temptation. Be able to resist temptation. Um, like I said, these vices, not partying too much, falling into um superficial things or dealing with superficial people. Um yeah, getting out of this lack mentality, self-doubt, ego, pride, um, things like that. Look, Queen of Coins, come on through. Come on through, come on through. You are manifesting your ass off. This, um, the, the coins, the pinnacles is all about stability, growth, expansion, financial abundance, manifestation. So, um, I feel like y'all get, and y'all very mature or become very mature, grown a lot, very grounded. Some of y'all could be, um, Mothers, like I said, some of y'all could be walking away from a Ten of Pentacles situation. Maybe because you're not happy. Follow your heart. Follow your dreams, right? Yes, judgment's been called, okay? So like I said, somebody could want your um forgiveness and want a second chance with you. But be careful because I feel like this person could be, like I said, coming in, playing on your emotions as well. Um, but also, I feel like you've been awakened. Forgive yourself for any past mistakes. I feel like you've done a lot of self-evaluation and self-growth. And you're getting a second chance at life. So, I'm going to um, wrap this up with these cards. And we're going to keep it pushing. I like this reading for you. This is all positive. Yes. All positive. All good. I love this. Let me see. Mm. get a few of these cards we gonna wrap it up Aquarius this was an amazing ring so all this is gonna happen in divine timing but you're gonna have to walk away from some things for you to call in these new new um blessings for you oh look it says I am magic I know that I am the only person who can bring forth the creativity that lives in my body right that magician energy Having the willpower to tap into your creativity, master yourself, adapt to these changes, go through this spiritual awakening, you know, learn the lessons, be thankful for the lessons, be, be thankful for uh, what you have, live in the now, and be thankful for the blessings that are coming in. And it says, I am going on an adventure. Um, I know that the passion, it, that passion is ignited when I create experience that excite me. So yeah, like I said, some of y'all going to be traveling um, some of y'all going to be relocating, um, and it's going to ignite passion back into you. So this is going to give you the, uh, passion you need to create, to birth new ideas. This is going to get you excited about life again. Like I said, you could meet somebody when you, when you're traveling, it's going to help you, uh, rebuild your life, whether it be in, uh, business relationships. Or what have you. And it says, I'm not stressing. I know that worrying only blinds me from the beauty that is all around me. Right. So in divine timing, don't feel pressured. When it's your time, you are going to know. You know, just learn how to manifest. Don't be afraid to step into the unknown. Do not, um, you know, allow your chakras to be blocked. Pay attention to the signs, synchronicities, and nudges from the universe. 
so you're not missing the opportunities. And it says, I'm just getting started. I know that each breath confirms that I'm alive and far from finished. Yes, you are just getting started. Reach for the stars and dream big. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, love and light.